Hello and welcome to Catchmore Media. In tonight's show, we head over to the beautiful Alders Farm Fishery near Milton Keynes, where we join the team at Joseph James Law, who are holding their second annual match on the complex. With £1,000 donated in sponsorship, plus anglers' pools on the day, there's an awful lot to fish for. And with 12 teams of five anglers taking part, competition was always going to be fierce. The contenders were Preston Innovations, Mallory Park, Rosella Northwest, Drennan Oxford, Matrix, BAE Systems, JJL Law, Colnick, Garbolino, Dreaded International, Match Fishing Scene, and Maggot Drowners. After a hearty breakfast, team captains headed down to draw, choosing a peg from each of five buckets to represent the five different sections across three of the venue's most prolific lakes. Tactics were then discussed on the bank before anglers headed off to the peg get set up for the day. We caught up with a few faces you might recognise. Right, here I am today on my peg, peg 10, on um, Specy Lake or Oaks Lake. Don't really know a lot about it because I've never, I've never actually been it. First time ever on the venue. In the team today, I'm told it's a Specy Lake. They've put me on here for that specific reason, for catching big fish. They think I'm the best in our team at catching a big fish. Possibly on method, I've got nice Little bit of an island chuck, which is good. Uh, gives me something to work from. I've got a nice starter to see where I'm going to go. I'm going to have a little play around that and then feel my way in from, from there. Like I said, first time I've ever been on the venue. What a fantastic place. Uh, I think the competition, what it's been run today, is really, really good. I think they're trying to do a lot for angling and work with angling. So, yeah, great cause on that. But we're just going to try and win it as a team today. My team draw, I know we've got a couple of decent draws on one of the other lakes, two apparently the best two pegs on the lake. So, yeah, that's good for that. I'm quite happy on here. So we'll just see how we go and hopefully we'll win it as we go on. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit optimistic. I mean, this is a sort of a bit of a, nobody knows how this lake's going to fish. Um, my basic plan of attack today is uh, I really enjoy pellet fishing and I've got a lot of confidence in that. So I'm going to start off at 14 and a half metres today, um, hopefully just pinging a few pellets and just see how it goes way up from that. I'm also going to chuck the method feeder, I haven't really got many options where to chuck it but sort of middle of the lake um, and then I'm going to fish uh, pace short because I mean with it being a special lake I have heard there's some quite big fish in here so you never know we might, uh, might have one or two later on. I've got a little bit of an edge today but not brilliant, I'll have to fish over these reeds, um, I don't know if they're going to come in, it looks very shallow so we never know and it's quite clear but I'm feeling quite optimistic, I'm going to um, we'll feed ground bait and maggots down my edge and as I said just fish pellets long and, uh, and weigh it up see how it goes. Well first time I've been to Alders Farm today on the Joseph James Law match, um, nice to be invited by Graham West fishing for Preston today obviously, uh, I've drawn peg 13 on Pounds Pool it uh, looks really nice, I've got an island to fish to and um, my plan of attack is going to be tight to the island, a metre off the island and down the edges really, possibly a short line, all with pellets. Um, not knowing the venue and with it being the first time I'm told that we've got a reasonably good team draw, I don't think we've got any real bad pegs um, and anglers can be placed today so uh, I'm guided by Pete Archer who's in my team on this lake. Uh, and he's told me, give me some good tips, so I'm looking forward to a good day. Right, we're here today on the uh, JJL um, competition. Absolutely brilliant competition. This fished it last year, we on the Specimen Lake, we're on Oak Lake. A bit different this year to, to what I had last year. Last year was right up in the corner. Everyone said it wasn't very good, so I got some a peg. I was fish boshing 65, 70 metres, right in the far corner. So I thought I'd go for it. Caught some fish, had a great day, ended up coming third in the section. So pulled a bit of a rabbit out of the hat, which was nice. So brought a big rod today up and I'm going to draw that same peg. And I've drawn in the middle of the lake. I think, by the sounds of it, you want to be on an island. Um, so it's damage limitation for me. 
Um, I'm looking at. I, I love to love love to be top three, top four at worst. I think the 12 peg section. So a, a good good result today. If, if everyone comes third or fourth, I think the team will probably win it. Last year we were second. The mighty Drennan beaters just by a few points. So we're looking at trying to get revenge back. Uh, we've got a few good pegs. Um, we've got Mike McMillan on a good peg. So looking forward to it. it should be a good good day. Fantastic. Um, first time. Uh, wasn't here last year, but uh, been asked uh, by Drennan to come down today. So uh, looks fantastic venue. I'm in the shade, unfortunately, at the moment, but um, sun will come out and hopefully we'll catch a few fish. I think the syndicate late, we've got a tough draw, but uh, everybody else seems quite happy with it. Colin, the local expert that we've got fishing with today, he seems quite happy, so uh, always pressure when you fish for Drennan, but uh, hopefully a good peg will sort that out. At 11 o'clock, the match got underway. One man who was getting among the fish very early was John Arthur on fancy peg one on Ashpool. While an oak pool, Andy Kinder was putting a good run of fish together on the method feeder, fished towards the central island. As part of this video, we were keen to find out the thoughts behind the man at the helm of Joseph James Law, its managing director and founder, Andrew Settle. We joined them at their offices, not too far from Milton Keynes. Joseph James Law because I saw an opportunity to deliver the legal services that I wanted to deliver and that I wanted my firm to deliver. Um, we um, offer um, a very transparent pricing structure um, which I think can benefit everyone, um, consumers and individuals and in particular um, anyone who contacts us uh, gets up to two hours free legal advice. Um, and then if um, they want to use us after that, which many do, then you're free to do so. Uh, all, all my family has fished, so it's something which I've always been interested in, really. Uh, but there was a event in at White Acres when I was about five years old, which I went and won. Um, it was a really hard day, a really warm day. And uh, um, I won uh, an event there, uh, a junior event, with one fish. Uh, which I caught in the last um, last couple of minutes um, at a match, um, and so there was always an interest there. Um, and then um, when I um, when I came down to Milton Keynes and started working in Milton Keynes, um, it was a time when my grandfather was quite well, and he was a he was a big fisherman. He used to fish on uh, all over Lancaster and, and Lancashire canals. Um, with some big matches uh, there, and um, he was he was quite unwell. And uh, when he passed away, I, I uh, myself and my dad got back into fishing, um, and then we've uh, we started in uh, a club up um, called um, uh, Fall In and Fishing Club, um, and uh, some other family members and some close mates started fishing. And then from there, that was about uh, four or five years ago, and then from there I started uh, fishing some opens uh, and meeting uh, a couple of lads down here, uh, Terry Lancaster and, and, and Trevor Price, and they kind of took me under the wing a little bit and, and, and got me to uh, a standard where um, it's not too embarrassing when I, I go up against some of the, some of the big names. So that that's really where it all started um, in... Um, uh, you know, maybe four or five years ago when I started kind of seriously uh, having my own kit and, 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 and getting uh, and, and then starting competing with uh, on, on the open scene probably it's, you know, mid, mid, mid to end of last year um, and then now, you know, I'm hooked as they say. I first decided to get into law um, at 18, uh, funny enough, I was um, I was due to go to university in America on a um, on a football scholarship. I was I was um, semi pro semi pro footballer and, and uh, for one reason or another, it didn't quite work out. I, 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 and it left me where I was um, only had a couple of weeks to really decide which university to go to uh, because I had focused all my attention on America. 
Um, and there was a place at Lancaster University, um, which was, I would lived in Bolton at the time, and I was only about 45 minutes away uh, by drive, and um, I, um, they had a space on, on, on a law course, and it was, I thought, well, if I do the hardest subject, which I can physically do, then it'll leave my options open later on. Um, so I did a law degree, um, did quite well at that, and then went off to Chester uh, Law School. Um, and from there, really, um, I was, you know, I really wanted to help people and, and provide um, provide a high quality service to pe these people that was coming to me with the problems, you know, serious problems. Um, and from then, I, I was lucky enough to qualify as a solicitor and. Um, and then um, after the best part of five years, I thought I could do it better than everyone else uh, by owning my own law firm. So Joseph Jim's Law is uh, something I set up um, uh, last, uh, last June. Um, it's uh, been a really successful venture, um, hard work, but uh, really successful and given me the opportunity to um, uh, to do the areas of law and provide the service that I want to provide to clients and that I think clients deserve, um, and um, yeah, that's that. That the venture from from eighteen to now has has, um, has been exciting, uh, but not as exciting as what I've got planned for the future. Viewers and, and, and anglers in particular should um, should use my firm, uh, use Joseph James Law because. We have a very different view on how legal services should be provided than, than the vast majority of other law firms. Um, we um, we're very transparent with our fees, um, and there's uh, unfortunately negativity, uh, particularly around the people that need access to um, legal uh, assistance um, in the cost of that um, and what uh, initiative that I have uh, within the firm is. Anyone who contacts us. Um, we offer uh, initial free advice um, and we help them um, and then if they want to come back and use our service and instructors then we go ahead and do that but everyone knows at the outset what that cost will be. Um, we do not um, operate like other law firms and reward inefficiency. Some of the law firms, well the vast majority of law firms will charge on a time basis uh, which I think um, is uh, fundamentally flawed. Um, I think every client um, should go to a law firm and know what the cost is from the outset in the same way as buying any other service or any other product um, and that's why my firm's different than everyone else. I decided to sponsor a fishing match for a couple of reasons. Um, one um, is no one else was doing it um, and I, wanna, uh, I saw a real opportunity um, to sponsor an event um, whereby the sport is one of the highest participant sports in the country um, and therefore what better way to get new clients um, into my firm. Also, the second point is I'm, I'm an angler and, and, and I think I can associate with uh, most people and most um, uh, problems, um, not just from a legal perspective, but also um, you know, making clients want to come and speak to me and, and we can talk about fishing or uh, 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 as well and when people come and see me, you know, I, we try and make it as informal as possible, whether that's on the phone or, or, or coming to the office. Uh, because a lot of my work is nationwide. Um, I travel out to see clients, I travel out to see fisheries, I travel out to see businesses. Um, and um, so yeah, the, 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 no one else is, is, is sponsoring Anglia and I find that baffling. It's been very successful for me. Um, outside uh, uh, angling companies sh should get involved in, in, in fishing. Um, and um, with the different mediums of advertising that's available these days, um, then I think sponsoring a fishing event is, is a fantastic um, uh, option that, this, that I've decided to take. Hi, I'm Grant Albert and the first I heard of Joseph James Law was when I was invited to fish a corporate match here uh, this time last year. Not long after we finished the match here, um, it was a few months later and I, I needed to speak to a solicitor. 
and obviously then I realised that the master I fished um, was the was the people I needed to speak to. Obviously, he's a fisherman, which is is, is a bonus. But besides that, they were he just very very friendly, and um, he came over to my house. Uh, we discussed the issues that, that I had, and he helped me out. And ever since then, we've become good friends, and I'd certainly recommend him to anybody. JJ Law is a great uh, firm for looking after uh, any legal situation that involves anglers. Anything else as well, but specialises in angling related problems. And so I've been associated with this company for a couple of years. I know a lot of people that have been dealing with this company. You get absolutely top class service. But I tell you what the difference is, you're not dealing with a giant company of lawyers. You've got one or two specific people that are going to handle your case. Anybody within the trade has been looking at tackle and guns, you'll find that um, one of the partners there, Andrew, has been writing in there, sort of case law, anything related to angling. So anybody out there who's got an industry problem with angling, anything to do with angling, JJ Law is the company to get involved with. And I can tell you now from people I've spoken to, you will get an absolute first class service. So, so Joseph James Law's extremely well equipped to deal with um, any queries um, and if you want to contact us um, then please do so uh, by using the link below. Well, we're two thirds of the way through this JJ Law Classic and what a classic event it is. As you can see from looking outside, it's pouring with rain. That's why I'm in here in the warm. But I've been around spying on everybody. It is an awesome event. Everybody is so keen. How's it looking? Well, I don't think any team has got five really good draws. So I would say there's two or three teams with four good draws, so it's going to be very, very close, and it's going to depend on the fifth man on the hardest peg. The fishery is looking brilliant, and when you think that we've got all of these people on, it makes a big difference, so it's a tough day. But it doesn't matter that it's a tough day, because it's a fishing event, not a catching event, and that's what you're going to see today on the results. Up there on the Specimen Lake, I've been sitting with Andy Kinder, He's got about 15 carp, which I think will be enough. But the old boy, the old legend, Trevor Price, he's there batting away, and I think he might come second. Looking around outside here, this is down on the bottom pool here, there's a lot of people now with 40 to 50 carp, so there's going to be some considerable amount of fish caught. Up on the top lake there, it's a little bit more patchy, but again, I'm talking to people with 30 to 40 carp at least. So. We're only just over halfway, two thirds of the way through this match. It is going to be an umdinger and I couldn't tell you one team that is standing out. I think there's four or five teams that are going to do exceptionally well. Well, as you can see, I'm in here. They're out there. What's the difference? I'm in here having some great hospitality. One thing about Elders Fishery, and I'm not kidding you now, the people are really nice. The service is great. The food is great. You're going to always have a great day. It's not all about catching 200, 300 pound of fish. It's been in a nice environment. And I can tell you now, if you ever visit Elders Farm, you will get looked after absolutely top class. It's one, of, in my opinion, it's one of the finest commercial fisheries there is in the country. It's clean. There is no litter. One thing I hate is rats. There isn't any rats. And so if you want a good day out, come to Elders Farm. You'll be really looked after. As the final whistle approached, action was just as hectic as it was when the match started. And it really was difficult to tell 
who was in the lead. As we followed the scales however, it seemed one or two teams had got things dead right. And we're going to be very proud to take their places on the podium. And second was Joseph James Law, my team. First. So, if they can all come up, we've got 500 pounds between them. Lads, in first place, with 15 points, was Mallory Park, and they collect a thousand pounds between them. Well, a nice easy day. Started off at five metres, um, thrown a few four mils in, fishing a banded six, and I've caught 25 carp in the first two hours. And then they've backed off and I just followed them out to 13 metres where I kept catching at 13 metres um, with a nice little light rig DC6 uh, 4x10, just dropping it through and catching on the drop. And I fed the edges both sides, and the last hour. I've caught on double maggots after feeding about six points down the edge, but they were better fish. They were between four and six pounds. The event has run absolutely fantastic, and obviously some really good size here and some great anglers. And obviously, it's, I fished lucky enough to fish it last year, and it's going from strength to strength. Well, it's all over, and it's been a fantastic day. The weather's not been that brilliant. I've walked around and spoke to a lot of anglers today and yeah, it's all about we're trying to win but you'll be amazed how many said, hey, I'm just happy to be here, it's a great day. And for me, that's what this competition's all about. Everybody's enjoyed it. I'm really chuffed. My team, I was, I was head coach, so we had a good draw. Um, 15 points, which was brilliant, 25 points were second. From a good draw, we did really, really well. I'm really pleased. Fantastic for JJ Law. They've said they're going to have this event next year. I'm sure it'll get bigger and better, and that's what fishing's all about.